It's not every day you get a call from a kidnapper. Certainly, when you're a news director, you don't generally get calls from news directors, but I think the year was 1990 or 1991. I was the news director at WALK. I did morning drive news. And back in that day, what when you heard from police, aside from the, the uh, phone calls you made once or twice or three times a day, they would send you faxes when things were going on. I got a fax that there had been what was probably a drug-fueled domestic dispute. And in the ensuing melee, a young man, couldn't have been more than 20, apparently absconded with um, his very young nephew, a toddler, about 18 months old. And the police had believed he was kidnapped, and they were looking for him. So I had done the story, as I normally would, thinking not much of it. And within a few minutes of my doing the first broadcast, my desk assistant came in with no color in her face, and she said, Susan, the kidnapper's on the phone. And I said, oh, come on, April, stop fooling around. She goes, no, no, the kidnapper's on the phone. So before I picked up the extension, I very quietly said to April, just do me a favor and get the uh, Suffolk County Police on the other line. So she did that, and I picked up the phone, and indeed it was this young man who wanted to make it very clear to me that he did not kidnap his nephew, that he had simply taken him to uh, uh, put him in a safer spot, that um, he was with a great aunt or a cousin or something like that, but the baby wasn't kidnapped, and he didn't do it, and no, 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 and don't tell the police, or, or you know, I don't tell anybody I called. Of course, the signal I'm getting from April from the other room is, hit record. The police want you to record the conversation. It's not illegal. As long as one party knows that a conversation's being taped, you can record it. The young man said, I didn't say anything about that, but the young man said, no, you know, please don't tell the police. I don't want this recorded or anything. Just want you to know that I didn't kidnap the baby. I don't remember his name, but I remember saying, okay, all right, I'll, I'll certainly, you know, help you straighten this out. Um, and you're sure you don't want me to, to tell the police? Yeah, 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 I'm sure. Okay, well, can you call me back later and, and let me know how everything is? Yeah, yeah, okay, I'll call you back. So we hung up that conversation, and no, I didn't hit the record button. And after I did the next newscast, and I, I honestly don't remember how I rephrased it, um, but the young man called back again, and again the police said, Come on, Susan, record the conversation. And the second phone call, I believe the young man gave me the address where the baby was. I said, come on, you're going to really kind of have to fess up now. I'll go down to the third precinct with you. Really, I and, and my intern is looking at me like, what, are you crazy? And I said, really, I'll do that for you, and, and come on, you have to be honest about this. And he said, no, 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 no. I said, no, really, you do. I, I'm going to really go to the mat for you on this one. I'll tell them what you did. I'll tell them we had this conversation. You didn't kidnap the baby, blah, blah, blah. So I believe there may have been one other phone call. But again, I could not in good conscience, because he asked me to, I could not record that conversation. The police weren't really happy with me, didn't hear much about it. And then I, in my do-gooder sort of way, tried to follow the story down. I did not go down to the third precinct. He did. The young man did turn himself in. I spoke with detectives that night. They were gruff, and they said he was being put, you know, through the system. They didn't really much believe his story. He was going to be charged with second degree something or other. And I, to this day, regret having let it go. Um, I don't know what happened to the young man. I don't know what the charges were, and I don't know if he ever went to court. But I knew I couldn't hit record.